Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you all how you can use Matugen to apply your material U colors to all of your applications. Now, this is going to be a three-step process. First, we actually install Matugen, then we set up the config, then we apply the colors to Hyperland, Hyperlock, and Waybot. To get started, just open your browser and go to this link, this GitHub link, which is github.com forward slash this Matugen. Okay, once you're here, just scroll down till you get to installation. And here we have different methods of installation. So we have Arch, NixOS, NetBSD, and Cargo. So if you're on any other distro except Arch, you're better off using Cargo for installation because this is a Rust application. If you're using Arch, you can just yay-s matigen bin. I can just do i matigen dash bin. Include the dash dash needed flag. It's already up to date, so it's skipping it. So the dash dash needed flag in Pacman does is it just checks whether the package is installed. If it is, then it's not going to do anything about it. It's just going to leave it be. It's just going to skip it. And this I thing over here that I've got, that is an alias. So I actually stands for yay dash s. That's it. You can set this up in your ZSH config. Very simple. You can do this for other commands as well, like I for install, S for search, R for remove, and so on. And this remove can be with dependency, so dash R N S does that. Then once you install it, you need to go to the themes section. So click on this link. Okay, so this will bring you to the themes page. Scroll down and you will find a list of all templates. So the way I've understood it is Matiogen is a tool that, or rather a script, whatever you want to call it, that uses templates to apply colors to certain files. So as you can see here, under the Hyperland section, which is part of what I'm using over here, first you're supposed to copy the hyperland-colors.conf template and add it to the Matigen config. This is the instruction that they've given. So once we click on that, what do we see? Okay, same site. Just wanna to go to the templates and look for Hyperland colors. Okay, so this is the template that we have. All of this, you can just abstract this away to get the colors and just store them in a .css file or a .conf file that Hyperland can read from. So just copy this and make a new directory .config matigen. I've already made this and you need to make another one that is in .config matigen templates. Already made that. So the template for Hyperland is going to be in there. So .config Matigen templates hyperland colors.conf. As you can see here, it's basically the same thing, just copied and pasted over here. Just think of this as placeholders, a placeholder script that puts the colors, takes the colors, material colors from our wallpaper and puts it into the appropriate uh, .conf file or .css file, depending on the application, so that the app can use it to theme whatever part of the config or the app that you want to. Right, so that was part one of configuring. Next up, we need to add this to the actual config. Add this stuff to the Matigen config. This is my config over here, config, Matigen, config.toml. Yes, so I've set it up for other applications as well, like GTK3 apps, GTK4 apps, Pywall Fox, which changes the Firefox colors depending on the image that you choose for Matigen. And also for Kitty, which is this terminal over here. Yeah, all these colors that you see here, they are all material colors generated by Matigen. So that we will deal with configuring in a separate video, but the underlying principle is the same. You just have to copy this, copy that, paste it over here. I've already pasted it, as you can see, like this. Let me just paste it to show you guys. Okay, so this is what is going to be. Input path is going to be the path to the template. If you can recall, this is the template that we have, the .conf file. So I just need to point this to that. In my case, that would be slash home, user zero, that's the username, and here, like so. And the output path is going to be home slash .config, hyper and colors.conf, which is over here config hyper yeah that is a colors.conf 
and the game mode I am going to discuss in a different video. So we'll leave that for later. And then the post hook. Post hook is basically the command that runs after the template has been generated. We have another sort of command called prehook, which runs a command before the generation of the template. Prehook pre is not required over here, so we can just delete that. Post hook is all we need. Let's set it up for Hyperland. Now, the colors that we have in colors.conf, as you can see, this. We can use this in whichever part of Hyperland's config we want. Let's say I wanted to change the border color to something like on error, which would be a red. So you would go into the Hyperland config, config hyper, hyperland.conf, scroll down, go to border, yeah, call dot active border. Let's say I want to make that from inverse primary to on error. What would that be? It would change it to a red. Same thing you can do for other colors as well. Let's say you wanted on primary container. That would change it to a white. Or if you wanted on primary, could do that as well. That's it. Okay. Then that is for hyperland. That's done. Next for hyperlock. Go back here and for hyperlock, it uses the same color format as hyperland. So we've already made this hyperland-colors.con file, which was there in Matigen's directory, all that we have to do is use that for hyperlock as well. Basically, they're just asking you to copy the template and make it. And once that's done, you just have to add this line to hyperlock.conf. Config hyper hyperlock.conf. Add that over here. And as you can see, you just use the dollar sign and the name for whichever color you want to use. So this is what my hyperlock looks like. As you can see, it's a bit purple, the clock corresponding to the wallpaper. And once you enter the password, this is what that looks like. Okay, done. Next is Waybar. Waybar is also pretty simple. It doesn't take too long. Scroll down, copy the colors.css template, add it to the config. Colors.css, just got to go back to the templates. Go to colors.css. Copy this. Templates colors.css. CSS. Yeah. Same thing. Just copied and pasted over here. This is going to do the same sort of template color substitution thing, except it's doing it for a CSS file. So we have at define color. Okay. Once that's done, just copy this part and paste it in. Templates.waybar. Paste it over here. I might notice that there is an extra line, the post hook that's been added. I have removed this line because I have another script called wall set that actually changes the paper, refreshes the way bar, refreshes pywall box, and a bunch of other things in order to completely change the theme of the setup. So let's say I run wall set pictures, wallpapers, and like I choose a wall haven wallpaper like uh, GP, RV, whatever. Is that bad? And yeah, the script basically does my job for me. It updates everything. I will make a tutorial on how to make a script like this in the future, so stay tuned. But for now, let's revert the wallpaper like so. Have that cool center effect as well, which is nice. Okay, so delete that. And again, input path is the path to your template, which is going to be basically this, but just changed name colors.css that's it and the output path is going to be your waybar folder forward slash colors.css if we go to that config waybar colors.css as you can see there's that define color thing we see again along with the name and the hex and this one is actually pretty simple to understand so let me just show you guys config antigen templates colors.css okay so for name value in colors just think of an end for just think of this as a normal for loop at define color which we see over here name this is the color name and value.default.hex it's basically just giving us the hex value and substituting that in 
for every single color that we have over here. That's it. That's all that the template does. Even for other apps. To apply this to your waybar, just go to config, waybar, style.css, import this URL, import the colors.css file wherever you've placed it, and just use it using at and then the color name on error over here. Should change. Yep, there you go. Changes this color over here. So we'll just replace that. Yeah, that's it. Using that, you can apply Matigen material you colors that you have on Android to any part of your system that you want. You have a lot more templates over here. In the next video, I'll be discussing how you can apply this to Kitty, GTK, and all the other apps, including Pywall Fox. So stay tuned for that. But it's pretty much the same thing. Just copy the templates into the respective folders, and you're pretty much done. It, the set, entire setup takes about half an hour to complete. So yes, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That would help me out a lot and would definitely give me more inspiration to make videos. And there's also a link in the description where if you want me to make a setup like this for you, you can order on Fiverr using the link in the description. That is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.